Hello people, I'm very excited about showing you this. I created this kind of case for holding some electronic components. Also, uh, there is a Raspberry Pi Zero inside, uh, which runs BMC64 emulator, uh, which is a kernel type of emulator boots very fast I put some uh, I put a chargeable battery inside this case and also this emulator allows us to use uh, real C64 joysticks with reading them through GPIO pins and also it has an HDMI output, one uh, USB input port, and also an on and off button. I also put a simple joystick here. It has three button functions. One is left and right part, which is very tiny, but I managed to successfully create a button for those. And also it has the direction, tactile, type switch I suppose and also it has a pushing function which works as the third button for this. This makes us to use this emulator without any component connect to it so we can access uh, with this key the menu of this emulator and the second one is used for the um, virtual keyboard and also we have direction inputs and the fire button as well. Let me show you. Since it's charged, chargeable, it has chargeable battery. It works as stand alone. So let me connect this and show you how it works. I'm connecting it to the HDMI input and switching on it boots up in seconds and now we can access the menu by these keys and let me load some snapshots image Let me switch to out here. Yes, this game can be played by two players. It asks for it's uh, it allows us to switch to two player by pressing P from the keyboard. Since we have a virtual keyboard like this, we can manage to set it to two players, and also we can connect joysticks like this from the port let me put it by here all right So we need to define the joysticks of course. So from the joy ports I will use GPIO bank 1 and 2. So I will play the first player with this one. And we can use this keys for the second one and also we can put another controller by here and also we can use this for this gamepad by the USB port let me show you
So you can use many of the gamepads which has dongles or uh, USB cables with this emulator. I defined the same menu buttons for this gamepad as well. So this way uh, we can use two player gaming and also I suppose it will be possible to play four player games by here. So you can see that we can define port 3 and 4 within emulator which is a flexibility. So this is the main usage of this box which we can connect uh, real joysticks some USB we can uh, add additional USB controllers or keyboards by this uh, USB port and also we can use USB hubs to connect multiple USB inputs like two gamepads uh, which is useful for playing without cables from the living room so also it has a great let me show you CRT filter which generates nice scan lines and phosphor pattern games are looking very good on the LCD screens let me show you one let's load the same So you can see that it has a real result, good result with the LCD screens and also the smooth scrolling of the games are amazing with this emulator. So thanks for watching. This will be very easy to uh, combine. I will show you the details uh, on my blog that how I created the electronic part and how I designed the shell for it so shell will be uh, variable for everyone because um, everyone will use different boards and some prototyping PCBs so it will be hard to just share this case and uh, make it useful for everyone but one, uh, one day maybe someone uh, designs a PCB for it. So it will be easy to use just a cheap uh, Raspberry Pi Zeros with a real, to work like a real Commodore 64. So it's great to have this kind of electronic. So we will be playing games with my daughter with this Pi Zero. It will be easy. Also, I created some ventilation grid for uh, avoiding the overheating. I will check the heating from the case for the long gameplay sessions. So that's it for this emulator. Thanks for watching.